Hello everyone, my name is Foley and welcome to the Leviathan Guide. I have been absolutely killing this boss non-stop for the past couple weeks and I felt like I've learned a lot so I wanted to share my knowledge with y'all and maybe it could help you. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching and if you're new here and like the content, make sure to subscribe so you can see more of my videos in the future. Now before we can get started about killing the boss, I just want to talk about the tiles that I use and why. Now the tiles shown here on screen, this one is my starting tile. I just have it marked for convenience, but it really doesn't matter where you start as long as you're at the edge of the map, that is the most important part. The reason why is after every attack cycle Leviathan does, he will drop a boulder on your position that will stay there for the rest of the fight. If those boulders are along the edges of the map, then it makes the fight a whole lot easier. You won't have to run around them and everything like that. Now this tile, I have it marked and labeled the lightning. I will get into that later. And at each corner of the map, I have it labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. This will be the spawn of the Abyssal Pathfinder at the end of the fight, which I will get into later as well. And the yellow tiles located in the center of the map are the tiles that you want to start on for the lightning phase which I will get into later, and the blue tiles don't matter, I just have them labeled for, uh... Honestly, I don't even know why I have them labeled. You don't have to have them labeled. There you go. Now, as for gear options, I'm not gonna go over them too much. I am personally using the Crystal Bofa, um, as well as the Web Weaver, but I'm just gonna put up a screenshot of the wiki of what it recommends and why they recommend it, and you can make your decision on what you want to use. Now entering the fight, Leviathan will start throwing out balls at you. Blue is magic, green is ranged, and orange is melee. After each attack rotation, like I said, he will drop a boulder that will be affixed permanently. After the first rotation, when he drops the first boulder, he will also drop two random boulders, either being north and south and east and west. If the boulders that are dropped are east and west, then we know that the first special attack is going to be lightning. If it is north and south, then we know the first special attack will be the boulders. Any special attacks made afterwards will just keep on alternating between the two. Now, for me personally, I wait until after the fourth attack rotation to cast my shadow barrage. You can actually cast any type of shadow spell and it will work out fine. But if you are just now learning, I would probably recommend to cast your shadow spell after the third attack rotation. A quick tip that can help you get extra damage out throughout the fight is right after you do your shadow spell, you can click Leviathan to get a quick damage off without him having damage resistance. And then you can quickly run to his back to get the back attack as well. As soon as you hit the back attack, we are going to go into a special attack. I've already showed you one way how to determine the special attack, which I think is the best way to determine it. But if you are not too keen on that, if you do look in your text chat, um, it will tell you before he does his special attack what special attack he is doing. But it does not give you near as much as time to know what is going to happen if you were to rely on the rocks falling. So I would highly recommend just going based off the rocks and not the text-based chat notification. Now the first special attack I'm going to talk about is the lightning special attack, and that is mainly because there is a lot more to talk about in it. Now there is a thing in the lightning special attack where you can actually lightning skip and still do um, damage while avoiding the attacks of the lightning. And I will show you an easy way to set it up. After you hit your back attack, you have enough time with the Bofa or any other weapon that has the same attack speed to hit two more attacks on the Leviathan before he starts shooting out the lightning. You want to take that time to first get on the yellow towel you're going to start off for the lightning skip and while also getting both of those shots off because that really helps with the timing. Because right after that second shot, a tick or two after Leviathan will start shooting out the lightning. So that gives you a good idea of when you need to start moving. Now for Bofa or any other weapon with that attack speed, you can move three tiles and then you can shoot and then move back three tiles and shoot again and then just repeat the process. And for something like a twisted bow that has a five a tick attack speed, you want to move four tiles and then shoot, rinse and repeat. Now to know if you are on sync with the lightning attack while you're skipping, 
The lightning should always be around one to two tiles away from you. So if you find that the lightning is a bit farther, then the next time you attack Leviathan, wait a tick and then move and then you'll be back in sync. If you find yourself during this phase um, where you need to maybe drink a ranging pot, a prayer dose, maybe some food, um, that is fine and you can do that while skipping. Just make sure while you do it, after you get to your destination tile, click Leviathan so that you are still in sync. You can either click Leviathan or wait a tick. I usually just click Leviathan because it's much easier. So run while you're running, you know, chuck your potion click leviathan run back it's all good and that is about it for the lightning phase just after the phase is done make sure to head to the edge of the map so whenever he starts dropping boulders again they will be placed on the edge of the map now on to the boulder phase with the bofa after you hit the back attack you have enough time to hit one more shot with the bofa before he starts spitting his first boulder at you so what I do is attack him once, and then as soon as he shoots out his first boulder, I move one tile, shoot again, move three tiles, walking. Um, I'm walking this whole time. You do not want to run during this phase. You want to walk three more tiles, shoot, and then walk three more tiles, shoot again, and then hide behind the line of boulders that you just made. You want these boulders to be as far on the outside as possible with you being able to get behind them without closing yourself in. Because if you close yourself in, you either gotta teleport out or get killed by Leviathan. If you are using the T-Bow or something that doesn't have the same attack speed as the Bofa, then I'm not too sure about the timing on this one. You might just have to figure it out and see. I would think you'd probably just have to wait a tick longer, so move one more tile and then you can shoot again. But yeah, you'd probably just have to mess around with it and see what's up. And that is pretty much it for the boulder phase. Now the fight will continue and be the same until you hit 180 hit points which is the enrage phase. Now, keep 180 hit points in your mind the whole time while you're doing this fight because it becomes crucial when setting up for the final phase. Not setting up properly for the final phase can really make it hard to get the kill, but if you set it up right, you should be able to kill him no problem and actually really fast. Once the Leviathan's HP is in the low 200s, I like to head over to the tile labeled number 2 and begin attacking Leviathan. Now remember earlier when I said you can Shadow Barrage and then immediately hit Leviathan afterwards? Well this comes into play right here because this is the best way to set up the Enrage phase. If you Shadow Barrage him and then hit him and then make him go below the 180 threshold, to start the enrage phase, the enrage phase will start and he will still be stunned. So you can get a couple attacks off before he actually starts shooting projectiles at you. And that is usually enough time for you to get the kill. Now, once his HP hits 180, the Abyssal Pathfinder will spawn. It will always spawn in the tile labeled one if there is nothing preventing it from spawning there. Um, for example, a boulder. I'm not sure if you standing there prevents it from spawning, but I feel like sometimes it has happened, so don't try to stand right on the number one tile or around there. Um, just try to be somewhere in the vicinity, but not necessarily on it. But if there is something preventing it from spawning there, it will then move to number two, three, and four, like shown before. And the Pathfinder will rotate around the map in a clockwise direction. And you will need to follow it the whole time, um, being within its confines. If you are not in the confines, then if you are protecting range and a range ball hits you, you will take damage from it. Um, you'll take half damage, I believe, from it. So, But if you are in the Pathfinder, then you will take no damage like it was for the you know the whole fight so this is where it can become very messy and very chaotic really quick because um, boulders are start will start falling down in random places while leviathan's throwing projectiles on you while you have to kill leviathan while also moving um within the confines of the pathfinder while switching prayers that is why setting up the leviathan with the um barrage stun is the best thing because you're taking 
one whole thing out of the equation, at least for the first little bit. And this phase right here is exactly why you want to bring the web weaver. Um, using the web weaver, it's almost guaranteed that you kill it within both special attacks. There will be a couple times where there's a couple more hit points that you gotta get off Leviathan, but it's usually one or two shots and the deal is done. If you are in a situation where you're trying to start the enrage phase and you miss the shot off of the shadow barrage, um, just go around to the back and hit him in the back because more than likely that shot is going to set it off. And right after you make that shot, quickly make your way over to the number one tile or where you believe the Pathfinder will spawn if there's something obfuscating the spawn location. As soon as you see Leviathan hit 180 hit points or lower, immediately switch to your web weaver or whatever weapon that you are going to be using. Um, for me, while I use the web weaver, I immediately switch to it and click on the special attack orb. That way, whenever I get into the epistle pathfinder, I can let off my first special attack immediately. Do not let off your special attack while you are not in the pathfinder because he he takes reduced damage during it and your web weaver or any other bow is not going to be hidden. It, it ain't going to be a great time. Be in the pathfinder. You need to be there. During this phase, Leviathan will only shoot out magic and ranged projectiles. So going into this phase, I would just start praying one of them. It doesn't really matter. It's all chance on what he's going to shoot out anyways. But start off praying one of those and get your special attacks off as fast as possible. I would say priority though is first priority, make sure you have your prayers right. Second priority, make sure you are in the pathfinder. Third priority, do not be a melee range. His chomps fucking hurt, bro. And then after you have all those priorities set, you can start killing Leviathan. If you are close enough to the Pathfinder at the start of this phase, you usually have a free first shot. So you can get one special attack in and then click your special attack orb. That way your special attack is ready the next time you are ready to shoot. And move along with the Pathfinder. And once you find an opening spot where... Um, you're not in danger then you can shoot again and that should finish off the kill the biggest issue I had with this phase was just trying to rush it and get my attacks off but if you follow the priorities and with a little bit of practice you should have no problem with this phase at all and honestly the most times that I die during this phase is um, accidentally being on the same tile as a boulder because I don't really pay too much attention to where the boulders are dropping that's the one thing I don't pay a lot of attention to but that is uh you know that's like you know 25 upwards of 30 something damage that you you could be taking if you get a boulder splat and once you finish the kill grab your loot and get ready because leviathan automatically spawns and the fight will begin again and then you just rinse and repeat and one last thing I didn't mention that can help you save a lot of time throughout the kill is knowing when to eat. The only time you want to eat is if you're really low going into the enrage phase. Um, as, as soon as it starts, just you know, get you a combo food because it is very possible you might take you know a couple instances of damage during that. But the only other time you should be eaten is right after you shadow barrage. While you're running to the Leviathan's back, that's the only free time that you have during the kill to go ahead and eat. So I always make sure that I'm only eating during that time. Also, if you would like to highlight the Abyssal Pathfinder like you have seen in the clips, then all you need to do is download the Better NPC Highlight plugin. After you download it, you go into the settings and under the True Tile settings, under True Tile IDs, you want to type in this ID, 12220, and then comma. And that will highlight the Abyssal Pathfinder for you. And the last thing I can recommend you doing is after you Shadow Barrage, turn off your protection prayer because you will not need to use it until after the special attack is over. So if you're here trying to do long trips or for an extended amount of time, it will save you a lot of prayer potions. And it will make your trips last longer if you're good enough. But that's pretty much what goes through my head while I get a kill here. 
I hope this helps you. And if there is something I missed, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Um, that way other people can see it and maybe I could see it. So whenever I go for the pet, I will have that knowledge with me as well. Again, I hope this helped and thank you for watching. I will see you next time. This is Foley. Peace.